Hi everybody, welcome to uh, my channel and uh, just want to share with you the fabulous success I had with the dinner service. Uh, I've taken it over to Cameron and Leah now and they are over the moon, it's the right colour, it's the perfect colour and uh, just want to share the process with you. So... Half the uh, dinner service has been fired. It's just cold enough for me to open the lid. And I wanna share with you what I've got so far. It's too hot to get it out yet, but this will be the start of the video and then we'll go in when we can properly. But uh, let's go and have a look. So if you remember, we were doing two toasted sage, um, two toasted sage and sorry start again two iron luster then two toasted sage on top and this is what we have got and it's really 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 good let me grab one this light doesn't do justice let me grab one with a towel and we'll take it out and have a look at it in the sun because it is gorgeous let's get in the sun The edges, the rims really work. And it is, I can't put it down on the, on the towel, still too hot. I'll take it back and then what we'll do, we'll get it all out properly and we'll have a good look together. But it has really worked beautifully. It's exactly the same colour as the, um, I'll probably put it on there actually. It's exactly the same colour as the, as the test piece. So there you go, so pleased. I just want to say at the end of this video is a little bit of an explanation of my thoughts um, on the process of the, uh, the dinner plate and reactions by people with regard to those tea plates. So um, please jump to the end of the video and watch my thoughts if there's bits you get a bit bored with. Um, you know, remember, if you like my channel, please um, like, subscribe and press the bell. And um, I hope it's the sort of thing you enjoy watching. Cheers. OK, a bit cooler now. Um, still get towel, but yeah, it's the plates I want to get off. So um, let me, I'll show you them as they come out and then we'll have a good look at them afterwards. But here is, give you an idea of what it's like. It is perfect, isn't it? It's gonna look really nice as a whole set. Okay. I lay them on the floor to cool. So that is the pasta bowl. Then there was a slightly smaller dish. It's just a slightly smaller, a smaller bowl. What I did, because I didn't know how this was going to fare, is I did four, about four of each. I could only get through three dinner plates in. Um, and then I can get this out, and then I can put another, put it on straight away. Then there was the little, little uh, dipping bowls for the table. I did four of those. What's nice is they have shrunk down again a little bit now, and they're, there's, there's a sort of delicacy, deli they're delicate now that they weren't before. I thought they were a bit chunky before, but that, that's um, got some nice reaction. And then I've got the plates. Now the, 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 I'm going to take this one plate off and then the top part, I'm going to let it cool down again. So pleased with that. What's nice is it doesn't wobble. <laughs> I'm going to take this off of here to let that heat out uh, because obviously I've never done this stacking system like this before. And I just want to check what it does. Okay, we'll pause it again and we'll just let that cool down a bit. Okay, let's get the next one out and have a little look. It's cooled down enough now. So 
what I need to do. Do you know what I've done? I didn't raise these off of the um, off of the new little plinths, and I can feel some little sharp bits. So I need to make sure I get the sanding block on that, and just make sure that all this is um, nice and smooth. You can see that that it because I didn't put them on. Um, I didn't feel the need to put everything on stilts, but maybe I should have done. I just made sure I kept kept away. But that is that's got some interesting lines and some shading to it obviously that's about that's to do with how i'm brushing it on right what we got underneath here let's get this out of the way well, that's nice that's hot again but i can get that one this is this is potentially a bit hotter isn't it underneath here that's got some really nice reactions. Again, look at all the little sharp bits. These are all bits off of the um, the kiln shelf, so I'll have to have a look at that, but that's fine. That's nice. So, yeah, that I should have put them on, on something. Right, let's just um, move these bits out of the way. And then under here, I've got the oven dish. You know, everything is looking wonderful. There's the oven dish with a really, really nice rim. Good, right, I'll switch you off and we'll go down to the next layer. Another thing I just want to share with you, this is the um, cone off of that layer shelf. This is a cone six and this is a cone seven. So this shows me that we know we're above a cone six, but we're not totally at a cone seven. Um, so that's fine. And I've got no pinholes or anything. So I couldn't question that it's the right or the wrong um, temperature. Okay, so underneath here, I've got some reactions that I don't like particularly. Um, it might be I have to refire them. This is the other cone I've got down here. This is showing me that this seven has gone all the way over. So this is the layer below. Um, frustrating enough. Um, so yeah, we've got some shifts here. I don't know what the bottom layer is going to be like. That's going to be a bit frustrating. It may be that um, I can just refire these slightly cooler then and see what we get because the, the glaze has shifted off the rim. But we'll see. Let's see if the two, I think they'll be too hot to move at the minute. They're not bad. So that's fine, that bowl is lovely. That bowl's fine. That's why I did four and four, so that I at least have half of the, now this is gonna be, the plates saying that you know is it not part of it being um, a hand you know is it not oh sorry I've got the thing on the wrong thing there is it not part of 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 the plate to have some reaction so I don't know oh, let's have a little look what else we've got we've got we've got three four plates It may be that it is just the plates that are suffering um, because they're flat. But this bowl, this little dipping bowl has shifted. The glaze has actually shifted off on that one section, but not around the back. Um, it would be good to know people's thoughts on this. But it, you know, it's a shame that it has gone and pushed up to the cone but then this one is fine this one's not this one's exactly how i would like it to be i don't I, you know i really like that that finish on the rim and that was what we liked we liked the fact that the 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 finish on the rim and that is no different that's exactly the same there let's get down to the bottom layer and see if we can um, check where we're at I 
was worried with doing so many layers um what it was gonna what it was gonna do all right let's see if i can i'll pause it and i'll hopefully get down to the next layer so the good news is that the bottom is fine the bowls are fine there's no reaction at all so that is really good news i was a bit panicky then that there was going to be a problem so let's get those out and as soon as i can get them out properly i can um, fill it again all good I just love how, I just love that glaze when it sort of shifts down the side. Nice. So it looks like I've done five of the small ones, have I? Yeah, I've done five of the small ones and I've got three to go still. Um, Done. Um, how many of the big ones have I done? I've done quite a lot of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've done six of the big ones. So, thank goodness it all came okay. That would have been a worry if I had to do another. That's a nice look at that lovely, look at that lovely, 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 lovely reaction down that ball there. Yeah, last one out. Shove a... Just turn around and show you what we got. So, so the the ones that I could argue aren't what I wanted were the uh, was this this one here and one of the bowls one of the little bowls anyway brilliant so uh turn it round and just say goodbye goodbye everybody and uh, i'll fill the kiln up again well just as a finish off of that video um i wanted you to know that i took the pot over to the house yesterday and they look superb in a house it's amazing how different pottery looks when it's in the environment it's intended for. Um, you know, very different than it laying on the floor, but it looked perfect. And uh, yeah, we had dinner and we ate off of it and that was really satisfying. The most interesting part was I was worried about the tea plates and the marks and the fact that it had opened. I see that as an error. They love them. They felt that every plate was individual and that was what it was all about. So that's a wake up call for me you know and for everybody out there stop being such a, cr a critic of your own work and believing something isn't right or isn't good because it's all in the eye of the beholder i was at pop fest um on um sunday and hopefully there's lots of video footage there i've done that we can put together of of all of the uh, exhibitors there was uh 80 exhibitors there and I realised that I have my favourites. I could uh, take and leave some pottery, but some pottery I was obsessed by. And what was brilliant for me was that everybody was very kind and there was lots of questions asked by me um, about the processes and how they got the finish. And everybody was very happy to share their, their thoughts, their experiences and what they'd done and give me support and, uh, and feel they wanted to help me on my journey of pottery. So that is really the lesson of the day. Do, don't be too much of a critic on your own work. Um, people will make their choices when they see it and they either like it or they won't like it. And it's their choice. 
but it, it really was an eye opener to me last night. So um, next thing we're doing, if you keep an eye for this video, is a lot of people obviously like the videos when I've done um, layering and how I get the result. I have decided that I want to go back to this bowl. Um, this was a bowl, if you remember it cracked, it's not really one I can sell or pass on, but lots of people have loved that finish. And I have a cup that is now bisted out the kiln and I'm just going to start glazing that. So that will be one of the videos in the future. But thank you very much for joining me. Remember, like, subscribe, press the bell um, if you like what I do. Bye.